I would think of the Mars system as a liver dialysis system. So we are um, all familiar with, to some degree, with conventional hemodialysis, which is a way to support a failing kidney, where the um, artificial dialysis system takes over the function of purifying the blood that the kidney would normally do. The Mars system is basically an extension of that dialysis system by putting in a, another dialysis membrane in connection with the conventional hemodialysis membrane that then is able to filter toxins um, that are typically dependent on, the, on a liver to uh, clear the bloodstream. So currently in the U.S., the MARS system is approved for the treatment of acute liver failure due to drugs and toxins. Um, so we can look at that in one of two ways. One is as an alternative to transplantation, um, or the second is as a bridge to transplantation. We just give enough time um, to stabilize the patient before they receive eventual, eventual therapy with transplantation. So I would look at uh, sort of two um, uh, potential roles of the MARS system in acute liver failure. The good thing about liver inflammation is that it's, it can, the liver can regenerate. So once you have any insult to the liver, it can potentially recover after you give it some support. So in the context that we use the MARS system for, we give th three days of therapy. Uh, which I think give the patient enough time for her intrinsic liver function to recover. And after two, three days of therapy, her liver function stabilized without any continued need for dialysis support. So this is a bit different from uh, kidney hemodialysis where typically if the patient is in renal failure, they need continued support for prolonged periods of time. I think it's been a... Um, institutional commitment to explore new ways of um, supporting um, organs, failing organs, including apart from transplantation. Um, and I think this is one example of the commitment of the institution and the faculty to uh, push the frontiers of, of uh, liver support. Um, and uh, I have a personal interest in liver disease and liver failure. Um, being both a hepatologist and an intensivist. So uh, I think all those have come together to enable us to acquire this, uh, this treatment modality.